Okay, so in this video, we're gonna look at coaching or as, uh, as McAfee calls it, or as other products call it, continuation pages. So what we're gonna do in this video is we're gonna say, um, okay, we're gonna allow access to social media, but we're gonna ask people to, uh, to like warn people, say you should only be using this for work purposes, um, and therefore you will click this uh, button to confirm and agree that you are using it for work purposes. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up and have a look at our uh, coaching rules here. So we're gonna add um, a rule set from the library. And we're gonna look at coaching quota. And we're gonna look at coaching. And we are just gonna auto resolve this. Uh, select okay. Okay, so coaching's gone into the, uh, the wrong place there. We just need to move that back a level. Move down there, and then we want to bring this above URL filtering. Okay, and as always, we'll unlock the view. Okay, so what we need to do is we're going to look at this one rule, um, or one rule set, should I say here. It's got two rules in it. It's got the redirection and the exceeded um, block page. So effectively what this means is this is going to be the, uh, the rule that redirects you to select OK. Um, I realize this is for work. And then what happens is there's a time limit before that time exceeds and you then need to re-click the button again to uh, allow you to be able to continue using that kind of uh, site. So where do we tell it what websites uh, we want coaching to happen on? Well, actually, this is set as a um, criteria on the rule set, and we can see it up here. So if we right-click and edit on the rule set, we can see we're basically saying that if um, the URL category is in at least one of this, and this is the URL category block list, or that the um, coaching time has not exceeded, then we are gonna apply this rule set. So what we're looking for is the URL category block list for coaching. If we go to lists, you're gonna see that a new URL category block list for coaching has uh, been created. We edit that. And add social. So we're gonna come down here, we're gonna hit this rule here. The website's gonna be in the um, block list for coaching group. So it's then gonna do a redirect and then you hit continue and then you'll continue on down this list here. Now I've removed, that's why I removed social media from this block list. Otherwise the fact you select continuation here will be pointless because um, you would have, uh, you'll still be blocked down here. So we go over to our lab box. you will see that we have got this new coaching session that's come up. And it's because that's uh, Facebook is in social networking, um, you have to continue to go into this session. Now these pages are customizable um, and we're gonna do that in a different video. See, this has now allowed us to go into, um, into Facebook. So this gives you the opportunity to be able to um, submit things to uh, the user for them to read. So we could do it for like streaming or uh, social media, or those things where you kind of want to give people access to, but you want them to make sure that they understand it is for work purposes only. Now we're going to take this a little bit further in, a, in maybe a more advanced way. One of the challenges I've come across is that you may want the IT department to be able to view pages that are blocked in filtering because they need to be whitelisted. So there's a, a website that's been categorized, maybe it's been categorized incorrectly. Your end user raise a help desk saying they'd like this unblocked. How does the IT department have the ability to view that to make sure that it does comply with the uh, firm's policy and can go to the, uh, add it to the URL whitelist? Now, we could just whitelist the whole of the IT department, but the problem with that is, if we're applying these URL, URL filtering to the rest of the firm, we should be applying them to the IT department as well. Um, and the IT department should be at least aware that if they're gonna override a block, you know, that they're doing it for work purposes. 
because we are still trying to maintain uh, data leakage and malware and uh, going on to accidental um, phishing websites. You know, the IT department can still have this happen to them completely regardless um, that they're in IT. So what we're looking for is a situation where if it would normally be blocked for a user, that the IT department will get a block page but have a button to override. And this comes very much from the WebSense days where it was very easy to implement it. So this is a workaround that I've uh, figured out how to do using Kochi. So what we're gonna do effectively is we're gonna create a rule set called IT override. Okay, and we're gonna move this top level, we're gonna move it up here. We're gonna apply some criteria on here. We're gonna say only run this rule set if the user is in a group contains uh, IT. So this is assuming that we create an AD group called IT department. So everyone who's not in the IT department will automatically not go into this rule set, they'll move straight on to the next rule set. What I'm gonna do is move this coaching under this IT department. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the block list category that we have here. This is what we apply to the whole firm. And we're gonna come up here and we're gonna edit this rule set here. And we're going to select it to the same as the category block list that all the other users will be um, hitting. So this is the block list that everyone else will be hitting. The IT department will come into here, come into coaching, and if the, that website is on the block list, then it will come to coaching here. If you're in the IT department, you're going to hit the URL filtering rule as well. And if it's on the block list, you're still going to get blocked down here. So what we need to do is add a rule here okay and what we're going to say is if you are in the um, user and you're in the group contains IT to stop the rule set and we're going to move that only above the category block list okay so what this means is we've already hit the override button to acknowledge that it's a block site for reviewing purposes so when we come here, we don't want to be blocked because we've already okayed it here. So we're going to just override, if you're in the IT department, this category block list here. Now the fact that we've done it as stop rule set still means that when we override a, a website, if it's got a virus or malware, it's still going to be picked up by these other rules because we've not done a um, stop cycle. So this is a, a fairly good way of being able to give your IT department able to see websites um, before unblocking them uh, and of course when I say unblocking I mean basically just adding them to the URL whitelist without just giving them free reign over everything. Okay so I hope this video has been useful to you and uh, thank you for watching. I'm James Sillett and I'd like to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you have any comments or questions you can contact me by any of the means shown below.